Hi, this is Andy with Condi Systems, and today I'd like to show you how to use the Epson Net Config software to program an IP address on your Epson network printer. Now, the first thing you're going to have to do is actually turn the printer on and connect it to the network. Uh, and then on the CD that came with the printer, <coughs> there's going to be a program called Epson Net Config. If you don't find this on the CD, you can download this from Epson's website and the driver page. Once you have the program downloaded and installed, you're going to all, all programs, Epson Net, Epson Net Config, and then Epson Net Config again, and click on that program. Now this is a very simple program to use, and there's a lot of useful information here. Today we're going to be using this to configure our Workforce 7010, and I'm only worried about configuring the IP address. What you do is you click on the printer itself, and then click on Configuration. This is going to pull up all the information it can about the printer. Under TCP IP, we're going to select basic, and here we can tell it automatic, manual, and we can actually assign an IP address and a subnet mask and a default gateway. I do recommend against trying to change the default gateway. Leave it all zeros. Um, as far as finding what IP address to use, consult our video on conditv.com for a video that will show you how to pick an IP address for your printer. To know what the subnet mask is going to be, the easiest solution will be to click on Start, Programs, Accessories, and Command Prompt and type in IP Config. All one word. Once you hit Enter there, it's going to show you the subnet mask your computer is using. You want to make sure to use the same subnet mask on the printer that you have on all the other devices on your network, all your computers. Once you have this program, just simply click on Transmit. Now, I've already configured this one, so I'm just going to cancel. But as soon as you transmit, it's actually going to assign this IP address to the printer, and it's going to reboot your printer. Once the printer comes back online, you're ready to install your driver, and you're ready to go. If you have any problems or questions with this or anything else that we sell at Condi, please give us a call at 1-800-826-6332, extension 2, or give us an email at support at condi.com.